Okay, welcome to Saitama Stadium 2002, the home of Urawa Reds. Um, whenever I speak about Urawa Reds, I always try to choose my words carefully, um, because if you know a bit about this club, you'll know that there is, um, yeah, they're a little bit infamous, very divisive. So over the years, there have many problems have occurred. Um, violence in the stands, uh, racism, the biggest incident was, of course, the Japanese-only banner that they hung up in the stadium, which earned them a one-game behind closed doors punishment. So yeah, there's lots of um, things that have happened here, which make them a little bit unpopular with some people. Of course, the fans of Udara Reds absolutely love them. The fans are probably the most passionate fans in Japanese football. Um, in a normal year, this stadium would be absolutely rocking. Uh, last year, I came to a Champions League match here, and it was unbelievable something completely different to what I've experienced anywhere else in Japanese football. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what it's like in this Covid era with capacity capped at 18,000 for today's game. When I came here last year to watch the Champions League match, I think one of the things that surprised me most was the, intimida the intimidating atmosphere at the stadium. It's not like any other stadium in Japan. They whistle, they jeer, they boo, and not just because something's happened, they'll just do that anyway to the opposition to try to put the opposition off, just trying to make it a sort of welcome to hell atmosphere in the stadium. It's, um, it's crazy. But even in this era where we have uh, the limitations on, and the safety measures, Reds have still managed to get into a little bit of trouble. Fans were still jeering and booing recently and whistling, which is not allowed. So yeah, that's not good, but let's see what it's like today. Generally though, I don't want to speak, you know, I probably sound like I'm just all against Reds, but I, I think that the atmosphere normally is really good. I think it's um, fantastic for Japanese football to have a club that is so well supported. Obviously when it goes too far, it does go too far sometimes and it's not good, but generally I think Reds fans, the vast majority of Reds fans are absolutely fine. Of course there's a minority that have caused problems, but generally this is a really well supported club. If you want to find out more about Udawa Reds and all the other clubs in the J League and JFL, then visit the Lost in Football Japan Club Profiles page. Featuring history, honours, player data and much more for every club. So last season for the club was absolutely mad. They um, got to the ACL final but also managed to get involved in a relegation battle and also got knocked out of the Emperor's Cup by Honda FC who play in the JFL. So yeah, completely mad. Um, they lost the ACL final to Al Hilal in the end, but this season has been much more mundane, mid-table, not challenging the ACL places, not scrapping at the bottom of the league, just a sort of very standard mid-table season. Um, obviously not what this club of this size wants because in the past it's been a very successful club and over the years attendances have been dropping here because um, the performances on the pitch have not been great and I think it's starting to take its toll on the, on the attendances. But um, usually in an average season, they'll be getting around 40,000 for a home game. So they're still pretty well supported, but at their peak, they were getting like 50,000 easily at the stadium. And today's opposition is a Cerezo Osaka, who are second in the table at the moment. Best of the rest behind uh, Kawasaki Frontale, who are just head and shoulders above everyone else this season. Um, yeah, a Cerezo, really good defense. Um, I think today, obviously, favourites looking at it on paper. Um, but last weekend, Reds beat Vegata Sendai 6 0. And we saw Vegata Sendai against Kawasaki Frontale a few weeks ago. And they were quite stubborn in that game. So Reds must have uh, found a key to unlock that Sendai defence last weekend. So it'll be interesting to see what happens today. I think Cerezo probably are obviously a much better team than Sendai. But as for prediction, I think 1 0 to Cerezo Osaka. <laughs>
time, uh, Reds lead 2-1. I'm standing under a very light, bright light bulb, so that's why my face is extremely shiny. Um, yeah, the stadium's very loud, but uh, so I thought I'd come out here. Um, uh, yeah, the game has been really interesting. Cerezo started strongest, took the lead. Um, the Reds came back really strongly and um, it looked decent. They got a penalty. I didn't really see it very clearly from where I was sitting, but um, it got put away. Then they took the lead with a deflected shot just after that. So yeah, looking really good. Um, interestingly today, we have the drumming in the stadium, so um, it's quite loud. The atmosphere is much better than it has been recently. Recently it's just been clapping, but now we've got clapping and drumming in the stadium. So that's a big step up from recent games. Um, yeah, I love the stadium so much. I think um, I'm not a Reds fan, but Saitama Stadium is such an iconic place to watch football. Um, especially when it's like not in corporate times and you can uh, appreciate the full atmosphere. But even now, it's uh, just the architecture is stunning. It's such a cool place to watch football. And I've never sat in this section before, so the view is really cool from where I'm sitting. Um, yeah, but uh, atmosphere-wise, not too bad, uh, considering the situation. But um, I think week by week, you might be noticing in the videos, the situation's getting better. You know, we're getting more fans in the stadiums. It's getting louder. We're getting, like, drumming, clapping. Um, alcohol sales will be allowed again as well from, I think, next week. So, you know, it's not normal, but, you know, we're getting there a little bit by bit. So, yeah, anyway, let's um, head back in for the uh, second half, and let's see if Reds can hold on to beat Cerezo Osaka.
full time. Reds win 3 1. Really impressive performance uh, in the second half, especially. They were um, really good going forward. Maybe rode their luck a little bit defensively. But really impressive because Cerezo are doing really well this season in second place in the league. And normally very defensively strong, so really good result from the Reds. And uh, yeah, back to back wins now. So that's 6 0 last week against the Gulf Sendai. And we won tonight against the Reds of Osaka. So yeah, so the atmosphere tonight was actually really good. Second half when Reds were playing well, the atmosphere was great with the clapping and the drumming. So since the lockdown ended, the measures have been lifted bit by bit on, uh, on what you can do in the stadium. So initially you could only clap spontaneously, then you could clap in rhythm to a chant. Now we've got drums in the stadium. Also capacity uh, was lifted, so initially I think it was only 5,000 fans were allowed. Now we're up to 20,000 fans or 50% of capacity, whatever is lowest. So yeah, bit by bit we're getting back to something resembling normality. Um, next step will be alcohol sales will be allowed in the stadium. Um, for those of you who like a beer in, the, in your seat, you can do that soon. But um, yeah, it's, it's, again, it's getting better. This was probably the better, best atmosphere so far that since the lockdown that I've experienced in a stadium. Still we've got a long way to go before we get back to how it was uh, in the past. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I think it was a, a good experience, a um, very different experience here at Saitama Stadium to usual. But yeah, really enjoyable nonetheless. So thank you very much for watching, as always, and uh, let me know what you thought of this experience. Um, you can probably notice through the videos how the, how the atmosphere is changing uh, each game. Fingers crossed that we can keep this going now and just keep uh, getting, yeah, more and more fans in the stadium, more and more noise, more atmosphere as we go. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more videos like this and you haven't subscribed already, please do consider subscribing for more videos from around Japan. So thank you very much and I'll see you next time.